product membership platform, Product Dino review and walkthrough demo from Promote Labs. Hi and welcome. Let's have a quick run through of how Product Dino works. The business intelligence area gives you an overall view of your membership portal with revenue and refunds, sales info and more. Now this is a demo account so there's no data shown in here at present. Then we have products which is where we can control our existing products and set up new ones. So let's go over here and click on create a product to have a quick look at how easy it is. Now you can see we do have the option to start with a blank template and because of the intuitive design this can be very quick but to help people get started as easily and quickly as possible there are also some framework templates built in. From a video course option for regular video training based products to downloadable file delivery to online training courses obviously a very popular choice to membership sites with drip fed content, a support hub or training portal for helping out existing customers as well as new ones or deliver access to private podcasts or just a simple lead magnet delivery. In other words, all the standard options you could possibly need for an online membership and these frameworks make it really easy for people to get up and running quickly. So let's go with video course and then simply pop in a name and click on continue which pops us onto the main product editing and control page. Well, let's start off with domain and access. Where you deliver your content is totally in your control. The easiest way is to use a subdomain of Product Dino and you can change the random code here to something that makes more sense to your particular product. So in this case, I'm going to pop in MAT1 SFS because the Simple Funnel Systems product is part of my MAT1 brand of products. This does need to be unique and can't already have been used by another Product Dino member and it will tell you if it has, in which case you need to find something else. Providing I'm happy with that, simply click on save and it will update that. So my content will now be delivered at mat1sfs.productdino.com. You can also enable your own custom domain and use this. If you're going to do that, you will need to set up the DNS settings and that can take a few minutes to get done. There is also the option to enable external content and use Product Dino to secure your content wherever you have it currently by simply adding the little snippet of code that's generated to each page of content, in which case we simply enable this, pop in our page URL, and it will give us a snippet of code that we will need to pop on every page that we're using Product Dino to control and secure our content. However, I'm going to switch that off. For most people, the subdomain option is both the simplest and quickest way to get up and running. So next, before we head across to the content designer and add in some content, what I'm going to do is pop across to integrations. Once it comes up, I'm going to go over to the videos and file hosting so that I can pick the Amazon S3 bucket where I've already got my content video set up. So in this case, it's simple fast products. So I simply tick the box, click on save file account, and let's head back because that will make sure that when I go to content designer I will have the relevant videos available. Now there's a few different options available on video hosting which will cover under integrations but Amazon S3 is obviously one of the best one because it is so cheap. So let's head on into the content designer. So here I am in the product content design and we've got an option here on the left where we can go through the initial videos that framework has set up for me. What I'm actually going to do is click on this arrow here to move it over to the right hand side of the screen so you can see more of what's going on. And the first thing I'm going to do is give each video a name. So I'm going to click on the three dots here and click on edit and I'm simply going to pop in an extra bit next to video one saying introduction to funnels and I'm going to pop that down here as well. Obviously you could put in a longer description if you prefer. Then let's click on update and then all I need to do is go through and do that for all five of the videos. The framework has given me five in total but if you need more simply click on the clone option here and clone as many extra video options as you need or you can just click on add at the top here and do the same thing. And once you've updated your video titles to actually pop the content in just click on the link for that particular video. Let's use video three as an example. It'll bring up the video page. What I'm going to do is delete all the existing elements that I don't want. So let's just get rid of these. I'll keep the video title. So if I edit the video title, pop in the name for this particular one. Once that's done, I'm going to grab the video element over here, drag and drop it in, go to the upload tab option here. And because we've already integrated our S3 bucket, all I need to do is click here to upload and choose a particular video, which in this case is video number three. So I'll click on select and that, once I click on add, will pop that video into that video page for me. As you can see, Mat1 Simple Funnel Systems, that's set up, that's done. All we then need to do is move back onto the next video in the sequence to get our product set up. It's that quick and easy. As well as being able to control the content page design, you can also come here to the settings and control all sorts of other things about your pages, such as your typography, your theme colors, navigation links, so that you can pop your own support URL on the page as well, header navigation, 
navigation, sidebar navigation, footer navigation, and login register and password details as well. Let's have a look at just one of these. Let's look at general, where you can then change the theme if you want to. Product Dino does come with a selection of themes that you can choose from, depending on what kind of membership site you want to run. So again, making it really quick and easy to change the look and feel of your site to tailor it to whatever is needed for that particular product. That also includes the option to put in your own logo and fave icon as well. Let's pop that back up. And if instead you want to change the theme colors, just come to theme colors, click each of the icons to change the colors across the whole of the theme. So again, very, very quick and easy to tweak and customize the look and feel of your product Dino membership to fit in with your individual products. Obviously, I'm whizzing through things fairly quickly to keep this demo video to a reasonable length, but there are a couple of other options here. There's translation, so you can have different translations of the different menu items. There's also custom codes where you can put in your own custom codes. There's also previews, including for your desktop. But let's exit and go back to the product itself. Now, the emails and more option includes a whole bunch of things, such as the welcome email they'll receive with their login details, also the reset password email, expiring soon messages, and access revoke messages as well. There is also the option for a legal checkbox to force people to tick to accept your terms of service, etc. And there's the option for drip content as well, allowing you to deliver content on a weekly or monthly basis. But let's head back. The next one to look at is payment gateways, and you can add as many of these as you want that are all sorts of options integrated automatically from ClickBank to Convertry to Gumroad, JVZoo, Paddle, PayKickstart, PayPal, Sandcart, Stripe, Thrivecart, Warrior Plus, etc. It's all here, so it's very quick and easy to integrate with whichever payment gateway you use. Just pop in the relevant information for that particular gateway, such as the title, the amount, and the thank you page, and whether this product will expire or not. I'm not going to use expiry on this one. Click on save, and that's a payment gateway set up. Next, we have integrations, and we did look at this briefly earlier, where we set up an Amazon S3 bucket for our video files and hosting, but you can also integrate with your transactional emails, SMTP, webinars, webhooks, and of course, your marketing emails. So let's click on select a service, and again, there is a wide variety of services available. I'm using Aweber, and it's already set up, so I'm simply going to choose my account and then select the list that I want to use for this particular product. I can also add or remove tags when people add to this list automatically as well. Let's just click on save and that will make sure all new members on this membership go onto that particular list. And as I said, there are a lot of autoresponders with integration available, but there is also the option for Pabli and Zapier integration as well. There's also a licensing option for where you're providing plugins or software and you want to actually create a license number for the user and you can actually decide how many licenses they get for each membership. There's also the option for managing your members. Now, obviously, as this is a brand new product, I don't have any members, but we could import members. We can export members. Once there are members in there, you can obviously search. You can add different membership levels. You can remove them and you can edit their details. Everything you need to to maintain your members within your membership. Okay, so that's a pretty quick run through of setting up a product and all the different bits that you have available within Product Dino. You can see that everything you could possibly need is covered. However, the product goes a step further. It has an option called collections, which take things to another level. Now you can see I've already set up a collection called Mat One, which is my Mat One brand of products. Let's click on manage and head on in, and you can see that it has similar options available to those that you have in products. But when we click on content designer, all we're now doing is deciding which of our products are included within this collection. So let's include the new one that we've just added by clicking on add a product, choose it from the list, Mat One Simple Funnel Systems, pop our sales page URL in there, and we then have the option of whether this is included as a bonus product or whether this is just shown to non-buyers, in which case anybody who's bought one of the other products in this particular collection will see this even if they haven't bought it, which means it's a fantastic way of passive cross-selling and upselling all your products to your buyers. So let's click on add and you can see that's now included within a collection. Let's click on close this down and this is what a buyer of any of the products in this collection is going to see. They're going to see all the other products that they don't have as well as the ones they do have and any that they don't have there will be a buy now button next to them to encourage them to grab that product as well so if you've got a series of products that are all congruent and match each other building them into a collection is a great way of cross-selling them passively to all your new members you also have the option for adding team members so you can bring in someone else to help you maintain and manage all your products and all your members within product dino okay that's a really really quick run through of just some of what product dino offers and what it does you can see that it is intuitive, it's quick and easy to get up and running, so members will be able to use this, hit the ground running, and start making money with it quickly. Thanks very much for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions.